Hi, my name is Brad Redding. I'm a PGA Master Professional in Instruction and a Golf Magazine Top 100 Teacher in America. Head movement, big topic. Should my head move or should my head stay still? Should my head move a little this way? What should it do? Well, again, it depends all about on where you are. I'm not very generic. I don't say one thing for every golfer because one thing won't help every golfer. What I will do is show you where you could be and how to fix that. So basically what I see are two movements in head movement that are problems. But you know what? It's not your body's fault. It's the club's fault and how it's moving. For the golfer that has what what's called a reverse weight shift, they actually move into their left side, head moves forward. Okay? I think that's more of a club problem. So if the club moves back too far inside this way, my body's going to get out of the way, okay, out of the way of the club, so my body actually moves this way. Again, not my body's fault, the club going too far to the inside, body has to get out of the way on the way back. They can't get into the, the right side, okay? So for that golfer, what I want to do is this. I want to show them how to use the club better, okay, and then show them how their head will move based on that. So the noodle here on the ground, basically on the same angle as my club shaft, I got six on here. On the way back, I want to keep the club outside, outside of his hands. So the club would go more above the noodle, more above the noodle, and they can actually move into the right side. The moment it goes inside this way, they're using their wrists and bending their wrists and the body's going to work to the other side. So the noodle here, I'll do the same thing. Have them set up to it, put their right ear on the noodle, and I say, look, I want you to keep the right ear on the noodle and take the club back where the club that goes more outside your hands and keep on turning. And now they can feel they've actually moved what to them is nine feet that way. When in reality, based on the noodle, they didn't. So again, right ears on the noodle, club head stays outside my hands, didn't go inside, outside my hands to the top and they keep that noodle on the right ear. Now if they move that noodle a little this way, that wouldn't bother me because they've been this way for a long time. So helping them exaggerate a little bit, never a bad thing in golf, exaggerations, help them get there faster, okay? That's how I fix that person. Now the other guy is the guy that moves their head too much to the right. And again, that's more of a club problem, not a body problem. Okay, so on the way back, that golfer tends to move back where the arms go too far to the outside, and the club obviously goes too far to the outside at the beginning. And when they do that, their shoulders are going to have to turn flatter. When the shoulder turns flatter, they move too, too far to the right. Too far to the right. But again, that's not a body issue. It's a chain reaction. Once the club goes too far outside, their arm moves away from their body, chest and back can't turn, shoulder then goes up, as a result, head moves back that way with it. Okay? So, yeah, you can call that coming out of your posture, but what's the problem there? Well, it's because of what the club did, not that coming out of the posture. So, what I want to do there is help them feel a little bit of the opposite. With the noodle here, what I'll do is, I want to keep the left arm much more pinned up against my chest, Okay? And again, keep the club a little closer to the noodle now. Okay? A little closer, but still outside my hands. Okay? And then keep going. Now if I do that, that's going to get their body to turn more correctly. As a result of my left arm staying more on my chest, and the club staying outside of my hands, okay? outside my hands, my back and chest and shoulders can turn, and they turn on the angle they set up on. So my left shoulder is not going up, or I started actually going down. And to them, they feel like they might be going down. Again, noodle on the ear. On the way back, what I want to do, left arm more across your chest, club head still outside my hands, but the hands now are moving away. They're moving more in, okay, because my left arm's more on my chest. And as I keep on going to the top there, I ask them to keep on turning. And to them, they may feel like they actually went this way. This confirms the fact that they didn't. 
I said, just keep that noodle up against your ear, left arm on your chest, hands are going more in, but chef's outside my hands, and keep on turning. And now they get into a good position at the top, because now they actually turn on the angle they sit up on. So again, when I try to help someone, I'm going to get them to work a little bit more on the golf club versus so much of the body. I'll explain to them how moving the club properly or differently improves what the body does, but I won't necessarily say, okay, just keep your shoulder turned more down that way. That may not fix it because they turn their shoulder down like that way, they can still go like that. So again, I'm going to work a little bit more on what the golf club does, help them make better motion in their swing and keep their head maybe still or maybe not so still. It depends on where you are. I know that'll get your game and your swing to stay on plane.